Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and Jonathan here with another video. Today we're going to be looking at 3D printing. Now this is the first time I've done this uh, for a video from a YouTube channel. I'm quite excited to share my technique and process with you. Basically I got a new Elego 3D printer a little while ago and this is the first time I've got around to actually showing a video on how we printed an amazing 3D castle using this technology. Using Vectorworks as the modeling software Basically, I modeled this up uh, for another tutorial. Make sure you check that one out on the channel. And I thought it would be really good fun to show you how you can 3D print using STL technology. Very straightforward. So here you can see the result of the wonderful castle that I was able to print. It looked really, really cool. There was so much detail in there. It's all hollow inside. And I'll show you how this worked with this wonderful 3D printing technique. So enjoy the video, everybody. And thanks for watching as ever. Okay, so make sure you check out my 3D modeling tutorial for how I modeled the castle. Now when you're ready, you just need to go up to the file menu and click export STL file. So STL basically stands for stereo lithography and Vectorus has had this built in for quite some time. You'll notice that there's a whole range of different options that you can use when you're actually kind of converting uh, the file. Things like um, selected objects in the layer or all layers as well. There's a couple of different file formats, not really sure what the difference is between those. Basically, I'm just going to click export and save that file. I'm just going to put that into my folder. And what you're going to notice is um, you're going to get a pretty small file type with an STL file format added to the end. OK, so we've got our STL file. It's really quite small in terms of file format size, only 1.6 megabytes. So let's open this up with preview on our Mac. Um, I'm sure there's other third party viewers if you're on Windows. You can see the preview app is a really nice way to view STL files. And um, basically Vectorworks is just such a great modeler for this kind of solid modeling. Make sure you do check out the tutorial and how I created this in a matter of minutes, this Castel de Monte. I also did some quite fun stuff with AR and VR. Okay, so here is a picture of the Elegoo printer that I actually got and a couple of sort of promotional shots um, showing the kind of stuff that you can print. It's actually got a really good build plate. Now, the next stage is to drag our STL file into a piece of software, and I'm using one called Elegoo Cura. And basically, this is a 3D processing uh, software ready to put the format as the file in print form. Now, you might need to scale this down. Of course, it was castle sized. So I'm gonna scale it down by quite a dramatic amount and basically just drag it down onto my build plate and when you're ready you can actually sort of click to fit that in the center using the coordinates there. So what you're getting here is a preview of the build plate size and the 3D model on that build plate. So this gives you a really good sort of feeling for how big the model is actually going to come out. Now I think we'll go a little bit bigger and um, let's sort of scale this up a little bit more just so we can kind of get a feel for this. So you will want to play around with the scale. I'm going to scale it up a bit more. I'm going to go for like 0.2. And then when we're ready, we can actually click on Slice. Now Slice takes a little while to compute. And basically what the 3D printing software does is essentially break the model down into a number of uh, 3D printable slices. So that's what it's doing right now while it's kind of processing. Now it gives you a bit of an indication of uh, printing time. It says seven hours, 13 minutes, which is obviously a long time. But what's really cool is you can kind of like slide this sectioning through and see the level of detail that it's kind of previewing in terms of how it's actually going to build this model. Now, it is quite important also, let's just scale it back down again. I don't want to go quite that long in terms of size. And uh, the amount of material obviously is determined a little bit by the volume and the size as well. So the other thing that you really do need to think about is things like supports. So with models where there's overhangs, um, all the 3D printing software will have something called supports that it uses to generate. For example, that roof is sort of hanging in space um, and you obviously can't just print on nothing. So you have to print support so that you can actually kind of print on top. And a lot of those supports are removable afterwards. So this is looking good. We've kind of scaled it up to 1.5. Um, I've regenerated the slice and I'm pretty happy with the preview time. It says it's going to print in 2 hours 38 minutes, which is fine. We've done a little preview, we've got our slices, and we've got our nice different types of supports in there as well. So really quite elegant and simple bit of software, the Elegoo Cura, um, and it really does make sort of slicing up your model 
quite straightforward in terms of preparing it. You can also see one of the factor we've got a nice little base for it to print on and that's quite important so the model is really stable on the build plate when it's actually doing the printing particularly for taller models as it progresses as well. But overall um, the model preview looks great there's a really nice level of detail in there and I'm very happy. Okay, so next up, we're just gonna save that uh, file over to the Elegoo and we can load this in with the USB. Now, here we go. We've already kind of started the printer. Um, you can see it's just progressing the very first layer, which is the kind of base almost. So it uses this base so that it kind of sticks nicely to the build plate as it progresses. And you can see it's actually pretty quick in terms of the speed. Um, this Elegoo was one that we thought had a really good compromise between build plate size and speed. Also has a nice bit of cooling built in as well. So here's a couple of videos of the model progressing in various stages and you can see it's actually quite fun to watch. Now here is the final model and um, I think it came out really really well. I was very pleased with the level of detail and with a bit of cleaning up and the supports taken out um, it looked even better but you can hear you see it on the left on the build plate with some of the kind of supports in place and there it is uh, without the supports. So, as ever, thanks so much for watching this short video on 3D printing with VetDoX. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.